I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create super slow motion in Adobe Premiere Pro without having footage that has an incredibly high frame rate. So let's open up Premiere and get started. Alright, so here we are in Premiere Pro 2017. If you want to follow this tutorial, you should have 2015 or higher. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get started. So I have here some footage uh, that I actually took from a other, from another tutorial where I did the explosion in After Effects. But actually, uh, that same explosion, you can do it in Premiere Pro because it's from a free pack. Um, well, if you want the complete pack, you will have to pay for it. But you can, you can get like five free effects here. Uh, like this explosion right here. Uh, I will link it in the description. Well, I will link to the video so you get also a full understanding about this pack. Um, but if you're interested in that, you can download these cool things. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, but I will use this explosion and if I drag it onto my timeline, you can see that it's a lot shorter than my clip and I want it to be as long as my clip. The thing is, if you're going to look at my information here, if I go to um, modify interpret footage you will see that um, use frame rate from file it only has 24 frame rate which is actually the really limit you can actually use this is going to preview very smoothly um, but if you're going to slow it down even a little bit you're going to see a lot of jitter because it's really at the limit if you want to slow something down you must be sure to have something like 48 fps or higher uh, so you can slow it down to 24 and um, so then it becomes tw uh, 50 percent but then again you can slow it further than 50 percent i have a whole video about slow motion if you want to get that full understanding we'll also link it in this video um but yeah okay so we we have 24 frame rate uh, here so if I'm going to speed and um, go to speed and duration and I change this for example 35 you're going to see that it's going to um, fill my complete clip so now we have this explosion uh, filling the whole clip if I'm going to render in to out you're going to see um, well let's render it out first you can see that it plays very jittery um, you see the stutter in each frame because it's actually um, duplicating each frame as a still frame so if you have 100% and you slow it down to 34 it's going to duplicate one frame for two or three frames so you're going to see a lot of stutter and this looks incredibly um, disgusting actually let me position it a little bit better as well just for the looks all right so we have an explosion right over here. Okay, so um, it's very jittery, but if we're going to right click here and we're going to speed duration and we change it right here to optical flow and we click OK, we can see that it's going to blend all the frames nicely together. And if we're going to render this into out, we can see that the explosion is going to look very smooth. You can see it right here, no jitter. It's going to blend some frames a little bit odd together, but Overall, it looks very nice. Now we have just a slow motion explosion. And if you do this with just your real time footage here, um, just make sure that your background isn't too detailed because if you have like a lot of grass like you can see right here and I would be jumping here and you want to super slow motion that jump um, you're going to get a lot of warp because um, the background is very detailed if you're going to do that against the flat sky so imagine that I'm standing right here I jump here you see myself jumping but as a background you see the complete white sky or blue sky whatever um, and you slow that down it's going to blend very nicely together because it doesn't have to calculate the detail of the background so if you're going to shoot for slow motion just keep that in mind that you don't shoot with a uh, a lot of detail in the background for that specific object that you're that you're wanting to put uh, in super slow motion you can see that in examples like people that are doing BMX tricks or whatever skate tricks um, and they jump and then with a low angle camera you can see that they're jumping and the background is a blue sky and then you can actually put it in real slow motion so that's really cool to have optical flow is a great implementation that they did I love it and yeah that's it for this tutorial let me know what you think of it and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you like this video be sure to give it a like also subscribe to the channel for more and thank you so much for watching and goodbye